The Los Angeles Lakers have been on fire as of late, and they have now beaten the Bucks and the Clippers, who are their two biggest threats for the chip. A lot of their players have stepped it up as of late, such as LeBron, AD, Bradley, Caruso, KCP, and others as well. However, one player on the Lakers has been surprisingly very inconsistent this season. And that's Danny Green, as he has been playing below his career averages in what was thought to be a perfect role for him for the Lakers. I think there's a lot of various factors that have affected Green's play this season, so let's go over why Green has somewhat struggled this season for LA, why he has been so inconsistent, and what are the chances he'll pick it up during the playoffs. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate all of your guys' support, and it really does go a long way into helping this channel grow. So Green hasn't been terrible this season at all, but he has certainly been very inconsistent on offense for the Lakers. He's averaging only 8.3 points on 41.9% shooting from the field and 37.6% shooting from three. These are all below his career averages, and many fans coming into the season were expecting Green to have a career year for LA, as guys like LeBron and AD would take a lot of defensive attention away from him. Playing next to playmakers like LeBron and Rondo were also supposed to help him get open threes, but he's been unable to knock them down consistently. It's quite surprising as Green shot 45.5% from three last season with the Raptors, and now he can't even break 40% with arguably improved circumstances compared to his time with the Raptors. However, as we take a look at Green shooting splits from his career, we do see that he has been relatively up and down since the 2015-16 season. Before his season with the Raptors, he had shot under 38% from three in three straight seasons. I think Green and many good but not great shooters in the NBA simply have many up and down style of games. I think people need to realize that very few shooters are consistently good game in and game out like Curry, and I guess it was a stretch for many to think that Green would shoot over 45% again from downtown this season. However, I will say that Green has provided ample floor spacing for the Lakers, and his defense has been pretty solid overall as well. The Lakers will need Green to step it up in the playoffs, as they will definitely need him to get hot like he did for the Raptors at times in the finals. Green is a career 39.7% three-point shooter in the playoffs, and that is slightly below his regular season career average. But Green has been known to step it up in the finals, like he did for San Antonio during their final runs, and for the Raptors last season as well. It's certainly possible that Green can step it up as shown in the past, and hopefully, he can come up big for LA throughout the playoffs and maybe even in the finals if the Lakers get there as well. So that's a wrap, thank you all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below, do you think Danny Green will step it up for the Lakers in the playoffs? Let me know as I do all comments, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So, with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching and hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Peace.